Okay, today, uh, hi, I'm Motor Car Nut, and today I'm going to show you how to um, uh, grind the valves, <coughs> Val valve lapping, like when you're doing a head, ga head gasket job and you want to um, lap the valves, I'm going to show you how to get it from this one, that's nice and, nice and smooth, from this, that could have a little bit of hairline leaks, to nice and smooth like this, all the way around. And the same thing, here's the before. You see, it's like this blow by versus one I just did. I can shine it up so you can see what I'm talking about. You see, you can see it's nice and grinded properly. It's gonna make a nice tight seal so the engine runs properly, okay? What I do is basically you wanna get a piece of, uh, I don't know the size of this, you're gonna to have to figure that out or I can probably put it in the description later. Um, something that will go on here tight, but you can't just use, like a rubber tube I mean, but you can't just use just this thin one because it's too flimsy and it's gonna twist. So what I did is I bought two pieces one smaller one that will go around whatever you're working on because they're all different sizes, the valves. And I put this in here, and then it looks like this when you're done. Basically, the, the small one's in there, and the bigger one's outside, and it gives you a little bit more stability. I'll show you. But when it's in the cylinder, it's going to go like this. All right. So now you get your, um, you know, uh, valve grinding compound. You know, uh, this is Rebuilder's Aid, whatever. You put a little bit on the edge. Like this. All right. Then you, I like to, you could put a little oil. Put a little oil on a stem. All right. Then you put it in. You don't go too fast. You don't want to go really like that because you're gonna, you're gonna, um, all the uh, compounds gonna fly off and it's gonna defeat the purpose. You go in and out, light pressure with a drill. You do this about 20 times. You count them: two, three, four. And you go all the way to 20. Then you turn it, reverse it. And as I do that, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pushing out. Pushing out a little bit, over here like this. And then, pressure, no pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure, pressure. And you gotta do it nice. You may have to do it a couple of times until you get the nice uh, tight seal. Then you take it out. And you take it out. And you wipe it off. And now you got that nice, clean seat. And look at the seat over here. Now, you see how clean that is compared to the, let me just clean it up a little. Now look at that difference between that seat, nice and clean, versus one that I didn't do. You see, it's nice and clean, so it's going to seal nice. And then once you put this back, see, it's nice and clean. You put that in there and you put it back together with the spring and everything, and you're going to make a nice, tight seal. 
and you do it like I said about 20 times you go in and out in and out in and out then you keep pressure on it take the pressure off put the pressure on it take the pressure off then reverse the drill do the same thing in and out do it about 20 40 times then you take it out and you make sure it looks nice and even all the way around and basically what you're really doing is you're just clearing up any kind of rust any kind of carbon anything that might prevent a good quality seal and you do that on all 16 it's time consuming but if somebody does it for you they're going to charge you a lot of money the whole idea of my videos is to save you money if you can do it yourself and you know if you got that far and you took it off and you, and you have the proper tools you're, you're going to need a spring compressor something like this that compresses the springs if you don't have any of those tools well then you're not going to be able to do it but here yeah, a special note over here i did one that was a little bit if you can see you can see there's like a little shiny mark here from here to here and over here is flat it's all like flat color that's what you want all flat over here a shiny thing means that it's still a little bit it still has to seat a little bit more i got to do this one a little bit better see like this one over here it doesn't have that it's all smooth all the way around all the way around the whole circumference that's what you want to see now you don't want to see any kind of shiny spots after you do it because it means that it's still going to leak you want it once you do that's why i say you got to do about 40 times until you get a nice clean appearance all the way around you do that to all all the valves you clean it up after that you have to clean the whole block scrub it down get all the little metal filings out and then you're ready to go that saves a lot of money and, and you know it's not that hard and fairly complicated to do okay guys uh this is motor car nut 2020 uh please subscribe like i keep saying i'm gonna have many many videos in the future of all aspects of automotive and you know if i can save you money then my job is done all right guys take it easy